I will show you how to uh, set up uh, the gel native file browser. Um, the main thing in this uh, package that you need to set up uh, and link of uh, WebGL template. And so let's open the Unity app import WebGL native file browser and then we could uh, configure it as we need. In the latest version, we have a new parameter uh, use post process in general config. Uh, once it is checked, um, the plugin will automatically modify a default WebGL template, which uh, could be selected from player settings and resolution and presentation. By default, it supports default and minimal WebGL templates. It is modifying index HTML file and uh, adds require code inside it. So let's wait for that. Okay, uh, we have a post process handler uh, CS file which modifies our index.html file in build folder. Uh, the main issue is that it could not support update of custom WebGL templates because the main structure of custom WebGL templates may have different to defaults architecture so it is hard to handle every version of possible implementation of creation of game instance so if you use custom webgl template then you have to uncheck use post process file uh, checkbox and then modify your WebGL template manually. Uh, I would um, use the default uh, Unity WebGL template to show you how it is possible to modify um, any other WebGL templates. So. Let's find Unity and here we go. Map editor. Uh, I'm using twenty twenty thirty forty one and then play back engines, webgel support, um build tools, then webgel templates and default. So we have an index HTML file and we could uh, modify it as we need. Let's open it with Visual Studio Code and we see this, uh, this template. The main thing that we need uh, to do, like our post-processing do, is to create a new variable with name game instance if it doesn't exist so like it is right in here we could copy it and then check does we have a uh, creation of unity instance yeah we don't have uh, game game instance variable so let's edit it here and find creation of unity instance this is done by uh, script on load so we have this function and then callback which means we could add here initialization of that variable adding this code here we go um, now we have a game instance variable which is used in our code. Uh, also, 
and in scripts editor and HTML index data we have uh, such file HTML index data let's open it and here we go this um, um, some Maulon code we need to copy everything from here and then add it before uh, closing body tag so at the end of body on that page uh, this uh, code actually means that uh, every template of native file browser will open up and also here is code to handle drag and drop system and other stuff which uh, helps to work uh, our plugin in WebGL. So, and then we could save it. So, the main things already done and we could work already with it. However, we still need to uh, add a new folder uh, with name um, file browser, the case of name of folder uh, should be camel case browser uh, from like it is then uh, in the project we have the content folder which we uh, which include uh, some bunch of files we need to copy these files into this folder and then our WebGL template is ready to be used. Now we could uh, build our version. So it should be selected from here. And uh, double check that general config use post process uh, unchecked and let's build it um, let's name it build and now we have to wait for building of that plugin if your webgl template is Quite different to what uh, which default uh, which default WebGL template look like. And then the main thing in editing of WebGL template is to add game instance variable if it doesn't exist, and then find creation of Unity instance and initialize game instance variable like we did in this template and then copy uh, this bunch of code from a txt file which will let uh, everything uh, plugin need to open up pop-up for file browsing and handle functions from native code uh, from unity even if you will not uh, copy uh, or not create file browser folder with content, it will still work, but uh, you will see uh, missing uh, images, so there will be blank images and it will not look like we need. So double check that you correctly modified index HTML file and Added file browser folder with require graphics. Okay, build is done. So let's check uh, that everything is done and there is file browser folder which is correct. Also, let's open index html file and check that everything is correctly added so game okay, instance is here then all 
also game instance equal unity instance is here this is okay um, then our file browser code is here seems everything is fine so let's close it and try to open our okay it's not possible to open from our browser um let's build and run then it must build much faster than it was Here we go. Okay, let's open console. Seems no errors. Let's clear it and open file. Okay, we see our file browser pop up. Let's select any file need. Assets, uh, plugins, fruit games, generic content, and let's open for the games logo. Open. Okay, it looks like it works as we need. Now let's add um, PNG and open file, then select. Okay, now we see only PNG files which is possible to open. Okay, seems it works fine. Let's clean it and we also see that memory is clean up and it must use less resources than it was uh, uses after loading an image let's open image again open it and then try to save it it is 20 uh, 252 kilobytes let's save it and Clean. And clean again and close it. Seems it works well. Uh, so you could modify any template you need, or if you want to use default ones, you just need to check use post process checkbox and it will modify. Uh, default WebGL templates automatically. However, it could also throw uh, any possible error in uni new Unity versions. So I would recommend to double check descriptions of which Unity versions are supported in readme file. I'll post here uh, web um, tested unity versions so you could easily check if it's supported by default if it's not supported then you could do it manually and if it's not it's if it's hard to you to modify it and then you could contact us in our discord channel uh, you could find a link to it here also you could contact on email And then we could help you. Thanks for watching and enjoy using our assets.